in the previous video, we talked about what the unit circle is, the purpose of the unit circle, and how you can construct a unit circle easily without having to memorize much at all. So let's go ahead and construct the unit circle here. So the unit circle is set up in such a way that to construct it, you only really need to memorize one thing. You have a blank sheet of paper, a blank coordinate system like this. The first thing you do is off to the side, you draw the 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90 reference triangles with their corresponding side lengths. So here's the 30, 60, 90 triangle. The long leg is root 3. Short leg is 1. Hypotenuse, 2. Now here's the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Both legs are 1 with the hypotenuse root 2. That's it. If you can memorize this, then you can construct the full unit circle without having to memorize anything else other than the general concept of what the unit circle is. Okay, next step is you draw a circle with radius 1 centered at the origin. So each of these tick marks is going to be point 0.1. Okay, now next, we're going to put in the information for 0 degrees. So this is 0 degrees. We put a point at 0 degrees on the unit circle. Okay, so we'll mark this 0 degrees. And then we'll also mark the angle value in radians. So this is zero radians. And we'll just put no units for radians. And then on the opposite side, we put the coordinates of this point. So this is at one comma zero. Okay, so now we want to do this same process for each of the special angles in the first quadrant. So 30, 45, and 60. But we can't, for example, first try to draw an angle line because we don't know where exactly the angle should be. 30 degrees we know is somewhere around here, but, but where exactly should it be? Well, that's what the usefulness of the design of the unit circle is based on. For example, the coordinates of the point on the unit circle that corresponds to this terminal side located 30 degrees above the horizontal, the x coordinate of that point is going to be the cosine of 30, and the y coordinate of that point is going to be the sine of 30. Okay, so with that information, we can plot the point on the unit circle that corresponds to 30 degrees. What is the sine of 30? Okay, so we come here to the 30, 60, 90 triangle. The x coordinate, what is the cosine of 30? Adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. What is the sine of 30? Opposite over hypotenuse, 1 half. Okay, what is root 3 over 2? 0.866. Okay, so let's plot this point, x coordinate 0 0.866. Each tick mark is 0 0.1. 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0 0.85. So somewhere around here. And then this should be 1 half, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So it'll be here. This is 0 0.5. Okay, so next we put the coordinates of the point. So root 3 over 2, 1 half. And on the other side, we put the angle in degrees and radians. So this is 30 degrees. And in radians, 30 degrees is 0.5. pi over 6. Okay, now the next special angle is 45 degrees. What will the coordinates of the 45 degree angle line be on the unit circle? Well, the x coordinate of that point is going to be the cosine of 45, and the y coordinate is going to be the sine of 45, which they're going to be, that's the same value. So sine and cosine of 45 is 1 over root 2. What is 1 over root 2? Point 
0.707. Okay, but let's let's rationalize this. Okay, so 0 0.707, 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so somewhere around here. Okay, this is root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. Okay, this is 45 degrees. And then in radians, 45 degrees is pi over 4. Okay, next, 60 degrees. The coordinates of the 60-degree point on the unit circle, the x-coordinate is going to be the cosine of 60, the y-coordinate is going to be the sine, of the, yeah, the sine of 60. So cosine of 60 is 1 half. Sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. So root 3 over 2 is 0.866. So we've got, well, we can say, okay, 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to be on this line here, right there. So this is 1 half root 3 over 2. This is the 60-degree point. 60 degrees in radians is pi over 3. Okay, now what's great about the design of the unit circle is that you don't have to do this same process for all of the other points in the unit circle. The reason is because any circle that's centered at the origin is symmetric with respect to the each of the axes and the origin. So if you think about this as a function, a, a circle is like an even and odd function, which means that for any point x, y on the circle, like any of these points, for example, the point minus x, y is on the circle, the point x minus y is on the circle, and the point minus x minus y is on the circle. And it works out to where any angle in the second or third quadrant, the coordinate points of that angle on the unit circle, those coordinate points are going to have the exact same magnitude as the coordinate points of the corresponding angle in the first quadrant that has the, the same reference angle as, as that point in the second or third quadrant. So, for example, thinking about the reference angles, any point in the second, third, or fourth quadrant that has reference angle 60 degrees the coordinates of that point on the unit circle are going to have the exact same magnitude as the coordinates of the 60-degree point in the first quadrant. Again, that's not just for the special angles, that's for any angle. Okay, so starting with 30 degrees, the point minus root 3 over 2 comma 1 half is going to be on the unit circle. The point root 3 over 2 minus 1 half is going to be on the unit circle, and the point minus root 3 over 2, 3 over 2 minus 1 half is going to be on the unit circle. And each of those points is going to have a reference angle of 30 degrees. So if we follow a horizontal line going all the way across, this is minus root 3 over 2, 1 half. Reference angle is 30 degrees. So 180 minus 30, we know that this is the angle 150 degrees. Okay, converting 150 degrees to radians. Five pi over six. Okay, following a horizontal line from this point. This is going to be minus root two over two, comma root two over two. Reference angle forty five degrees. One eighty minus forty five is one thirty five. One hundred thirty five degrees in radians. is 3 pi over 4. Okay, making a horizontal line from this point. This is going to be minus 1 half, 
Comet Route 3 over 2. This is 30 degrees past 90, so 120 degrees. 120 degrees in radians. Two pi over three. Okay, let's go down to the third quadrant. Follow the vertical line from this point. So this point's going to be minus root three over two, comma minus one half. Okay, this reference angle is 30 degrees. So this reference angle is 30 degrees. 180 plus 30 is 210. 210 in radians. Seven pi over six. Okay, follow this point along the vertical line. Okay, the coordinates could be minus root 2 over 2, comma minus root 2 over 2. Reference angle for both of these is 45 degrees. 180 plus 45 is 225. 225 in radians. Five pi over four. Okay, follow this point vertically. This point here I should have put on the minus one half line, but you get the idea. Okay, this is gonna be minus one half, comma minus root three over two. Okay, the reference angle here is sixty degrees, so that means this reference angle is gonna be sixty. We can think about what is 270 minus 30. That's 240. Okay. Twenty-four divided by three is eight. Eighteen divided by three is six. It's four pi over three. Okay, so fourth quadrant, we can drop a vertical from these points or a horizontal from these points. Let's just use the first quadrant. So this is at, so we want to go to the one-half line. So one, two, three, four, five. It's going to be here. That's what I should have done with this point. I should have just gone straight to the negative one-half line. And could have done the same thing with, like, any time there was a one-half, that would have been, I should have just gone to the one-half line. That would have been the best, the, the smartest thing to do. So here, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that, I got that right. You see, but you get the idea. Okay, so this is going to be at positive x value, negative y value. So positive root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. Okay, these are going to have the same reference angle. So this is going to be 30, like a negative 30 degrees. So 360 minus 30 is 330. So 330. 30 degrees in radians. Thirty-three divided by three is eleven. Eighteen divided by three is six. So six pi over three. Okay, this point, follow it down. Lines up about right there. Okay, that's the forty-five degree reference angle. So, so 270 plus 45 is 315. Well, okay, now let's get the point. So it's going to be root 2 over 2, comma, minus root 2 over 2. And then 315. Okay. 315 divided by 5 is 63. 180 divided by 5 is 36. 9 times 7 is 63. 7 times 4 is 36. So 9 pi over 4. Okay, so here this is going to be at 1 half. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It'll be here. With coordinates 1 half minus root 3 over 2. Okay. 
reference angle for these is both 60 degrees, so this is going to be 30 degrees past 270. It's going to be 300 degrees. Okay. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 10 divided by 2. So 5 pi over 3. Okay, this was 7 pi over 4. And 330, I got 330 wrong here. 33 divided by 3 is 11. 18 divided by 3 is 6. That's it, 11 pi over 6. Okay, now let's put in the reference angle points. So this is 1, 0. This is minus 1, 0. And this is 0 minus 1. Okay, this is 90 degrees. And in radians, that's pi over 2. Okay, this is 180 degrees, and in radians, that's pi, and this is 270 degrees, and in radians, that's 3 pi over 2. We can indicate that this is the x, y coordinate system, and there you go. That's how you construct the unit circle.